This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited, really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny, ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister.
I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though, big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> it's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco a local businessman, built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. What the hell was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got this floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. Alright, how's that for an intro? My name is Jay Beetle, and we're going to play through Max Payne 3 in its entirety. I haven't played Max Payne in a long time, but I just remember the, the first game, it, it had a heavy noir style, you know, that's its whole shtick. But it, it was almost like a horror game to me as a kid. All I remember is a little... Well, I don't remember much of the game, but I remember he had he had dream sequences where he would just be walking around and on a blood trail. This, you know, updated graphics, but you know what? Still bullet time. And that's the part everyone loved. It might have actually been the first game with bullet time. 
I'm not really sure about that. It was definitely the first one I played. Let's see here. Can I crouch? C to crouch. There we go. And Q to take... Yeah, Q to take cover. I know I played it on the PlayStation. I had a terrible computer when I grew up. Some medium difficulty and... Essentially what... Oops. Awesome. Can I... Can I... Can I get up? On the table. I probably had to cut the intro because... That was the boss lady. Only this okay, time she okay. wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. But what we learn is, this is a flashback. The, the, the current, the present time Max Payne is all bloody, of course. He's a drunk, sort of. And he's bald, most importantly, obviously. So we're just recounting one of how it all started, I guess. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped not about to be thrown off it. And the little I've played this game, I realized he tells you what to do in kind of a annoying way. He'd be like, "You need to go this way." It might have been stupidity, or drunkenness, or maybe you'll see what I mean when I can't figure out something I fast it, enough. I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Here we go. Bullet time. Tranquila, tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, you. Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. And here we just continue. He's hardcore. He's had a hard life. Dead daughter. Dead I imagine the wife. elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. I don't know if it's the same voice actor, but I love him. It's just the right amount of scruff. Now, I'm looking for golden gun parts. Um, I don't know if that upgrades anything, or if it's, oops, or if it just is a collectible. Either way, I want to get them to find out. Golden guns. Ouch. Alright, alright, I don't remember. Right in the eyeball. I know there's another one. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Gotta use, utilize the bullet time. I'd done them enough favors. I didn't need to give them more Man, of a head start. Those bullets. Oh, one just disappeared. That's. Oops, 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 oops. Let's see if there's anything in here. Nope. See, there's no jumping, I don't think. Other than the bullet time jump. Let's see. Ah, shotgun. Gonna pick it up. In a cool way, obviously. Didn't even need bullet time there. Do you have a gun? Alright, I think... Aren't there stairs? Ah, sorry. Alright, Entrada Principal. The main entrance, I guess, is what that is. I'm gonna take a bullet gun. Rather than a pellet gun. I had to move quick, or Bronco's next charitable donation would be to the worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Rodrigo was had too a rich a prize okay. for them to throw Let's away. You don't talk at once. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. True. Ah. Right, where are you? Twenty-five leg shots. All right, we got one. Can I switch weapons? Oh, that's how you switch weapons. Oh no! They weren't far ahead. Oh. Once I opened All the right. door, I'd actually that was have cool. to come up with a plan. So I don't know how to use this weapon. Okay, now I'm using it. Don't know what that was before. I can kick the bodies. Alrighty. Only have one painkiller left. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there's bright green button probably. To be careful. I know they're gonna run at me. Examine the great picture. thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Clues. Another parking lot right. rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Alright, where's the other one? I don't even see who I'm supposed to hit. Did I hit the wrong guy? Probably. Yes, a love bullet time. All right. Come on, Max. <laughs> that slow. That slow motion bullet view from like a foot away. No, I don't know who I'm saving. Rodrigo, apparently. Yep. You weren't even going that fast. Stay down, Mr. Bronco! That saved me. Apparently, you can shoot people like that, and if you get the kill, you're back up again. Mr. Bronco. Oops, I need to do that. Let's see. You have a you have a shotgun. I don't know how to change weapons. Rodrigo was in the van. Yeah. Maybe see, it was that's time what I'm to talking let him about. Oh, about face there. No, it's see. It was time to let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, I get your references. I need a golden gun piece. Hope that didn't work. There's gotta be another piece. This this guy's like the end, right? Alright, shut up. This is on medium, by the way. I don't know You're if okay. I can handle hard. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. On. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, vocês aí? Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão! Subtitles. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos! Ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância! Oh, I rescued the older brother. 
fuck. The one that didn't look like Ricky Martin. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Oh, really? Get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. I had bullet holes in the back. Like clean shots. Oh, now I don't. I'm healed by the power of comic book strips. Or panels. There's Ricky Martin. Marcello. Back home, it was time for some R&R. &R, the only way I knew how. Yep, I'm a drunk. Poor guy, he must be in so much pain. And with that, I guess I was ready for bed. 